For this first problem 53, notice that there's a common factor here, this a minus 4b. So we can factor that out. What's left behind is 4a plus b, and that's times the a minus 4b that we factored out. So there it all is completely factored. For the second problem here, problem number 54, first look at the coefficients. There's a 2 and a 4, so we can factor out a 2 from the whole thing. In the a difference, you have a squared and a cubed, so you can factor out a squared. There's a b squared and a b to the fourth, so you can factor out a b squared. And now you have to figure out what, what is needed to uh, equal this when you distribute this through the parentheses. So first of all, 2a a squared b squared is what we need. We have 2a squared b squared, so all I need here is a 1. 2a squared b squared times 1 is 2a squared b squared. Then the minus sign from the middle. 2 times 2 is 4 to get the 4. We have a squared, we need a cubed, so we need one more a. We need b to the fourth, we have b squared, so we need two more b's. And there we have that one completely factored. Okay, for number 55, this looks like a factor by grouping problem because there's four terms. So we'll factor the first two separately from the second two. Out of the first two terms, you can factor out an s squared. So factor out an s squared. What's left is t squared. There's s squared times t squared plus 1. s squared times 1 is s squared. In the second two terms, notice they both have a negative 3. We can factor out negative 3. And in fact, that leaves t squared plus 1 again, because this should be the same as this with factor by grouping. Negative 3 times t squared is negative 3t squared. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Now there's a common factor here of this t squared plus 1, because that's in both terms. So we can factor out that t squared plus 1. The result leaves behind an s squared minus 3, and that's then times this t squared plus 1 that we factored out. So there's the complete factorization of that polynomial, problem 55. In our next problem, problem 56, notice that we've got a difference of, well, almost a difference of squares. 3 divides into each of these first. Always factor out the greatest common factor, 3. That's x squared minus 25. 25 is 5 squared, so this is a difference of squares now. And remember the formula for the difference of squares. Anytime you have a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b. Let me rewrite that. This one's not working very well. Um, let's try this one. Again, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So applying that to x squared minus 5 squared here, we get well, the 3 that's going along for the ride here times x plus 5 times x minus 5. So there we have the factorization, complete factorization of this polynomial. Now for problem 57, that looks like the sum of two a binomial squared. In fact, um, this is equal to x plus 10, the quantity squared. To confirm that, um, notice that the two n numbers, x squared and 10 squared, work out. 
The middle term here is twice this times that, so 10x doubled is 20x. Here's the formula for that one. a plus b squared, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this, applying that to this, you get that. So that's just the binomial squared. And we've completely factored that polynomial. Now, for problem number 58, that appears to be the difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared. I could say x squared minus 8y, the quantity squared. So that's x plus 8y times x minus 8y. We had the difference of squares formula up here a moment ago. Finally, for this last problem number 59, w squared minus 4w minus 77, we'll try to factor that with a w times a w to get the w squared. And then uh, we've got, we're looking for two numbers now. First of all, it has to be a plus times a minus to get a negative um, 77 on the end. And uh, the product is 77 now. And the difference is 4. So 7 times 11, those are the numbers. The big number goes with the negative because the middle term is negative. So there we have the complete factorization of this polynomial.